Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expat back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about a new project. It's currently uh, just launched or it's in pre launch. It just depends on when you're viewing this video. It's called Eject Elon. It's a meme pad or meme inspired decentralized project on the Binance Smart Chain. Kind of like a Kickstarter or crowdfunding platform for uh, meme coins and shit coins. So let's roll that intro and let's get into the review. Hey guys, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button and bell notification. So when I upload my latest vids, you'll get notified immediately. This is the website here. It's at ejectelon.com. Now the team did reach out to me and ask me to do a review. So everything that I say in this video is just for educational purposes only. Obviously I'll give you my opinion on it, um, but everything I will say is um, won't be biased. It'll just be my thoughts on it. And then you obviously have to do uh, some more research on your own. This is, it comes down to here, or this part of the section of the websites here, the eject, crowdfunding platform so this is what they're building okay it says we stand by the philosophy of putting power back in the hands of the people going by that eject elon will be a crowdfunding platform where ordinary people will be able to back crypto projects they believe in by donating their ejecto coins to the project or doing shilling tasks as typical crowdfunding platforms those that back projects usually get some kind of early bird discount and, and eject elon will be no different backers of projects on eject elon will receive early bird discounts and airdrop tokens of the project that they back eject will be the currency of the crowdfunding platform the value of eject is likely to rise as more projects are posted on the platform and more people hold eject to be able to participate in these new promising projects so it's here think of this as a uh, kick kickstarter for shit coins uh, okay so the, the main value proposition of this is they're going to vet the projects you can um uh, you know go on their platform they're pretty much providing like a service and then you can participate in the in the uh platform uh buy your uh you know eject coins participate in these I, or IDOs or pre-sales. So that's the biggest thing right now in this space is there's a lot of scams and that's what this project is uh, gonna take a lot of that stuff out. Uh, and it's kind of like gonna be like an all-in-one, you know, projects can come here and everything's gonna be uh, nicely, kind of like a business in a box, more, more likely. And uh, then they can launch their project successfully. That's what they're trying to build. Now, um, this is the roadmap here. Phase one, depending on when you're looking at this video, phase one rewards, phase two, they already had a private sale. The private sale at 50% uh, tokens are cheaper than the pre-sale price. Uh, and they, what they did was, I was listening to the AMA because I had an AMA a voice AMA chat on their uh, Telegram group. And they basically said that um, private investors, they were able to uh, invest up to five BNB. Thank you for your question. And I think I answered it earlier, but um, I'm glad to answer it again. Um, so you can never ensure whether or not somebody will buy to your coin and then dump later, right? It's, it's just impossible. You can't block people from making transactions in and out uh, of a currency. The only thing you can do is, I guess, limit the damage. One of the things that we did is we kind of had talks, individual talks, with all of our private investors and made sure that you know they were interested in our product. Right. A second thing that we did is that we limited the amount you could purchase during the private sale. Right. There's a preferential price at the private sale, but we limited the maximum cap per investor to make sure that nobody has a huge monopoly on how much of the supply they own. Right. That's very important. And third thing is that the price discrepancy of the token between the pre-sale, not the private sale, the pre-sale, and the price at launch is very small. We're even thinking of going with similar prices. So one BNB would buy you 80 trillion tokens. 
And the reason for that is the people that usually dump buy dump because the price at launch is immediately half of the price at the pre-sale, right? So you're able to immediately uh, 2x your money. They have to incentivize these people to obviously because they need the money f to start with the developing and the marketing and the cost of the websites and the, you know everything. So they need money up front. So that's why they have these private sales. So they have to entice these um, private investors to invest, but also they have to give them uh, the best price. So it's kind of like a, you have to trust the investors that are investing in the private sale have to trust the team and the team have to trust the investors, the private sale investors that are not going to dump. So they went through a vetting process. And this here, we're kind of like at phase four with the pre-sale which is you know, about to start or whenever you're watching this video. Now the pre-sale price is going to be just not much cheaper, but a little bit cheaper than the public price. And the phase five is the pancake swap. So this is like the public, right? You're gonna be able to buy this. It says 48 hours after the pre-sale starts, uh, EJAC will be automatically listed on pancake swap. So outside investors can buy. Our goal afterwards will be to amp up the marketing and get it listed on larger exchanges. So uh, you got a two day waiting uh, period before public sale people can get into it. And uh, there's also the, as they're developing the project, they're uh, the MVP or the, the alpha, basically the working model of when these, uh, when you can go on the site and start investing in these new uh, shitcoin projects uh, it's not built yet it's about six weeks away so that would be uh, one of my concerns because a lot of these investors they they're just very impatient and um, you know they just dump their bags because they don't want to wait they want to return now and that's pretty common okay in this space so it's here 100 trillion supply four percent distributed rewards so four two percent will automatically go to the liquidity pair and then two percent will be distributed to the existing holders okay so that's pretty normal here's the tokenomics um you know this is the breakdown of the private sale pre-sale foundation airdropped uh, the burn and uh shilling competition so i wouldn't really worry about the t uh total supply because there's tons of these coins out there that have trillions and trillions. Um, you know, it just, the total supply only works or the uh, burning of these coins only works um, when you significantly burn a lot. Listening to the AMA, um, it's always good to uh, have a voice AMA and they did this on the Telegram group. So I had, a, I had a good listen to that and there was many topics that people talked about um, you could get a sense of, you know, the developers. I did ask the uh, team, you know, where's the team from? How many people in the team? Uh, you know, are they anonymous? And they basically said, could you just give us some information about the team? Uh, where are you based? Okay. Um, and how many people in the team? Blah, blah. Okay, awesome, perfect. So there's um, myself and another developer. We've been managing chat. We've been coming up with all forms of like ideas, strategies, where the, pro the project is going towards. We have uh, one working guy, it's, uh, I see right here on chat. He's in London. I am currently in Chicago. The other two members of our team are in France. Um, so we're, we're, we're a bit everywhere. Um, so our fourth member is uh, our graphic designer. He's the one who's been working on the website. He's the one who's been working on creating stuff up with new mockups for our platform. Uh, he's actually working on them right now, so I think he should be coming up with those in a few hours, uh, hopefully prior to the pre-sale. Uh, so it's two developers, one uh, marketing guy, and one graphic designer. Uh, obviously, they're still anonymous, and they said that they'll probably stay anonymous until uh, once the project starts taking off. Uh, if it starts to take off, uh, you know, it could be uh, th two months, three months down the road, then they will, they could then make themselves um, public. 
and the marketing side of it, they have a lot of YouTubers um, lined up. There's a couple of YouTubers uh, in English. Um, there's one in Russian, uh, Bengali, and Azerbaijani. And uh, obviously, they'll see my video as well. This is really going to be where it's at after the pre-sale finishes. So I do like the website, good graphics. They have a guy uh, working on the graphics. You know, all this sort of stuff takes money. So that's why uh, the private sale people got kind of like the biggest share. So what are the risks? First of all, what are the risks with this? Well, the risk is obviously when you're still in pre-sale or, you know, about to go to public sale, you're hearing about this early. So the, the risk is, you know, obviously there could be a rug. They did get ordered by uh, tech rate. I don't really rate tech rate that high, but, you know, maybe they're the cheapest. I don't know. A lot of these new meme coins and shit coins, they use tech rate. Maybe the price, but like Surtech, Surtech charged like 10 grand for an audit. Uh, and there's, you know, a few of them out there. The really good ones cost a lot of money. They're more, you know, they hold a lot of weight. So they have done an audit. So, you know, for what that's worth, uh, you know, take that with a grain of salt. They do have a burn uh, address, which is basically, you know, to a dead address. Uh, you better see that in the contract. They will publish the pre-sale uh, fairly soon, I think. There's about 3,000 people in the uh, Telegram group. Um, and that, that's slowly growing, okay? So right now, it's not a big project. It's just small at the moment. I've just, you know, contacted a few people on uh, TikTok and on YouTube to start the marketing off. And obviously, um, they said in the AMA that as the project grows, then, you know, you know, bigger, more influential, like guys that have got 100,000, 200,000 uh, people in their YouTube, you know, will, will probably jump on, okay, if, if the project starts to do well. So obviously the risk is when you come in early, you have, you're taking the biggest risk. Judging from the AMA, the team does sound genuine. They've uh, invested their own money into this, as well as the money they've got from the pre-sale. Um, but that would be probably the biggest risk is the uh, being so early. You just don't know what's going to happen with these projects. Okay, you're 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 trusting that the team's going to do the right thing. Also, another risk is because their actual working model or alpha, they might call it, uh, is not going to be ready for at least six to eight weeks. So this is a concern because, uh, like I said before, you've got the People that are invested in it, they, what I've found is this, uh, this crowd, crypto crowd, especially meme coins and shit coins, they just tend to dump and move on to the next project. Okay. That's just how it is. You know, um, it's just how it is in every project, not just this project. That's just how it is. So my concern is obviously the, uh, the, the six or eight week wait, people will get impatient and they could dump and the price could dump. So that's also another risk, okay? Obviously, the positives with this is the they've had an AMA. They've put themselves out there. Uh, you can tell a lot from people talking uh, from the uh, their voice, okay? They do seem genuine. That really comes down to really the marketing side of it now, okay? So if they can make a big push with the marketing, um, really, the, the beginning of it, when it launches on PancakeSwap, if they can continue that momentum right through to the uh, when the uh, alpha drops, okay, then that's going to be really the, the, the tell, telltale uh, sign because, because the project in this very poor, important period could either uh, explode or it could sink. So that's, you know, uh, depending on which way you see it. So my final thoughts on uh, Elon, uh, Ed, Ejac Elon, would be the use case is, is very strong. There's a lot of scams in, especially in meme coins and uh, shit coins. And this uh, platform is, uh, can, can fix that problem. Okay. If they're successful, if they're successful, then this can, this could be a big project. But again, it depends on the community. They're going to stick together uh, and there will be some time when 
before this alpha is released. I'm kind of 50-50 on this. I might invest a small bag uh, just simply because uh, of the project and I do like what they're trying to do because it's very similar to meme pad, kind of like the same kind of concept but just different, okay? Same, same, but different, okay? So they're trying to fix this big problem in the space right now, okay? So possibly I'll pick up some some bags in the beginning, not a lot, but um, again, if you get the, if you get in early on these things, and they do take off, you uh, you literally can go to the moon with just you know a small investment of fifty or to a hundred dollars. Literally, can uh, turn into fifty or hundred x. Uh, I'm not saying this project will, but that's I've seen this over and over again. Um, and now because we're just in a dip right now, once it goes back to Bitcoin, back to sixty grand. Uh, the bearish market um, turns bullish. You know these these projects can can literally um, 10x overnight. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this review. Obviously, do some more research. Everything that I've said in this review uh, is my own opinion, even though it is uh, sponsored by the team. Um, obviously, do some more research. Let me know your comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Are you new to crypto and DeFi? You're not sure how to navigate to the scams and keep away from the sharks trying to steal your crypto. This space can be very daunting for newbies. That's why we created 100xcryptoacademy.com. This is not just a course on DeFi, yield farming, and investing, but a real community of like-minded crypto enthusiasts who believe crypto is the key to financial freedom. You'll get 50 plus HD on-demand videos, ongoing research analysis and pre-screened, ICO and pre-sales, four weekly webinars per month, with live Q&A, private access to our exclusive forum, and our vibrant Telegram group for live chat and updates. All for a low monthly investment. Check out our Patreon at 100xcryptoacademy.com.